Get out, get out, libidinous swine, and take that hideous check shirt with you. May you rot in the filth of your own fornications. And what did you say to him? Oh, nothing. I just pulled on my socks and jumped out of the privy window. But you really do have the moral integrity of a professional golfer, don't you, Charles? Well, one tries. Anyway, I think we must now turn to more serious matters. Oh, really? Well, it's these sketches you see, Weldon. We plan to have one up every week. You would write one, and then I would write the other. It was a brilliant plan, with one tiny flaw. Yes? It was bollocks. Well, shoot me in the arse and ask me to sit down. I thought we'd be funnier than a woman trying to get through university. I fear not. We're about as funny as watching a baby being eaten by a rabid dog. There are more genuine laughs to be had at an autopsy than watching one of our skits. And this complex wit doesn't just write itself, after all. All these double entendres, all these play on words, all these knob gags. Writing this stuff is as hard as a masochist who's just been sentenced to life in Guantanamo Bay. Yes, well, that's as may be, but we're missing out on a crucial market here. And what market's that? The blind market. How would they even see our videos? Not the blind market. The blind market. There's over a hundred thousand blind salesmen in this country, and our jokes cater to none of them. I suppose. Oh, uh, pass me that sex tape, will you, Weldon? Oh, yes, yeah. sorry. Thank you. Yes, if we had even half a brain between us, which, incidentally, is exactly what I think we do have, we'd be able to come up with timeless gags at the drop of a hat. Mm. See, Trevor, what's on the radio? Oh, I'll have a look, shall I? What is that? Uh, radio 1, I think. Try Radio 2. Okay. Yeah. Better? Mm. Radio 4? Alright. How was that? Appalling. But it's the best we've got, I've it.